Welcome to another video. This is a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for October 23rd, 2024. For this update, I'm going to show you four VHS tapes, 16 DVDs, and two Blu-rays. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to start off with the four VHS tapes, which we got Spin It Music and Veil Tape for free. Those are the only four tapes that I wanted. This is a Fox Family Feature VHS. This is the 1984 version of A Christmas Carol. October 22nd, 1998. Even though this VHS was from 1925, so this is a reprint. Part of the adult drama category. And the last three tapes I will show you are all full models from Wright Store in Salisbury. And they're both, I mean, both this and the next tape I will show, they're on the, pl the plastic sleeves when I got them, but I already took them off. And this me was the future film debut directed by Robert Zemeckis, who also wrote this movie as well. Part of the comedy genre. <clears throat> Universe Me, released on Veil by Warner Brothers. Again, full one from Wright Store. And now here's the last VHS. This me I've never heard of before, but it does have Shirley MacLaine and also have good cast as well, so I'm gonna have to pick this one up. Epic Productions movie, released on Veil by RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. This one's damaged at the beginning. Yeah, you can see right there. But the rest of the tape still plays fine as I did check this tape before I filmed it. Now onto the DVDs. This is unreli unrelated to the, the 2000 movie traffic, which I have out on DVD. British show from Channel 4. Released on the by Acorn Media. Next, this one is in Fredericton. This is Season 2, Volume 2 of Gargoyles, which is a show I might check out. Not only in the U.S., but Japan, Canada... Hong Kong and China. Now, even though this was TVY7 in the US, this is PG in Canada. Case is not the best condition, unfortunately. <clears throat> Go back, show. Another Quebec show. Next DVD, this one of five DVDs I got to spin it today. Destination Films may come in with Embombable Entertainment and release on DVD by Sony Pictures. This is the 2011 version of the low engine that could. Mainly bought it just for the opening. Direct to video movie.
<clears throat> Next, this one's in St. John East. Australian movie, which originally released in the U.S. by Blue Fox Entertainment and was released on DVD by Breaking Glass Pictures. This next TV, I got to spin it today. <clears throat> Not only West, but Canada and Dominican Republic. This means originally released in the US by Magnolia Pictures and was released on DVD by Airtainment One. Although on IMDb, it just says it's Canada. Next, this one's also from St. John East. DreamWorks Mini, Call Me Reliance Entertainment and released by Universal. Not only the US, but Canada, India, and the Philippines. <clears throat> For some reason, it came with this purple case from Disney, even though this is a Universal DVD. So I'm guessing the library originally came from Swap It Up, Swap Cases. Piles. This one I also got to spin it today. One more from Blockbuster. Blockbuster Day is October 4th, 2004. These next two DVDs are from Shadiac. Mainly Bardis, since it has Patrick Stewart. <clears throat> and this one's also from Shadiac as well. Universal Me, Come in with Beacon Pictures, Sydney Kimmel, Longfellow Pictures, and Life Planet. Next, this one's in Bakaya Cat. This one's a Cartoon Collection DVD. France and Belgium made from ARP Selection, released in the US by USA Films, and was released on DVD by Criterion. This means now owned by Focus Features. Now owned by Focus Features, to be exact. 2012 Criterion Collection DVD. <clears throat> Next, this one's on Shibagong. I did the opening this on Nouveau. Columbia Pictures me from 1996. <clears throat> I did the opening this DVD back in 2022. But this is a movie I might give it a try. In the U.S. was released on Ville by Warner Brothers. Last DVD. This one also got to spin it today. Samuel Goldwyn movie released on you by Sony Pictures. Full mark from Sin and Video Club. Now on to the Blu-rays. Last Blu-ray, 